Uh, thank you so much. It's wonderful to be here on such a damp and, damp and rainy afternoon. It was great that you managed to find this place through the rain. Uh, I'm hoping that this afternoon will be a little bit hotter inside than it is outside. Um, as some of you who know me uh, will know that my passion for, for years now is how do we create organizations that are energizing, that uh, really touch our uh, passion, companies that, frankly, we'd be pleased for our children to work in. I don't know about how many of you have got kids here, but one of the things I always ask myself is, would I recommend my children to work in this organization? Of course, often the answer is no, and we don't really uh, create the sort of energy that we might, and that's what I'd like to talk about this, this afternoon. Uh, over the last decade, I and my colleagues at London Business School have built uh, the world's most substantial research on teams. Uh, we know a great deal about why teams work, how complex teams work, how teams from Reuters work, how teams from Goldman work, how teams uh, from uh, Unilever work. And I'd like to, this afternoon, share with you some of the ways that we've found that you can create energy and innovation in your organizations right now. So, let me uh, start by saying a little bit about what I mean when I use the word hotspot. Um, I like to use the metaphor of uh, putting uh, sort of almost thermodynamic goggles on your, on your eyes. Imagine looking at your organization. And instead of looking at it in terms of an organizational chart or an organizational structure, think about it as uh, looking at it in terms of its energy. Okay, so you're looking across the organization in terms of its energy. And as you look across the company, for most of the time, it's uh, business as usual. You know, it's just green. Yes, it's nice and comfortable, but it's just green. Uh, and then occasionally, of course, you see the icicles of the deep freeze taking over. And that's when the organization's energy is completely dissipated and is probably negative. So you've got negative energy. And then just occasionally, as you look at the organization, you see suddenly uh, a spark of energy takes place. And that spark of energy has a huge effect on the people around it, and it's sort of contagious. And suddenly, you see this hot spot. And a hot spot can be a time, a place, a team. It can be a community. It can last for a week. It can last for a month. I'm going to talk today about some that have last, lasted for years. And in that, you feel incredibly energized, incredibly excited, incredibly innovative. Now. The bad news about hotspots in many ways is many of us only spend about 20% of our time in it. Our research shows that. And also, it's not something that you can now go out and say it must happen. So at, at the end of today, you can't uh, go to your CEO and say, let's write a note to say from tomorrow on, you know, we will all be highly energized, because of course you won't be. These are emergent phenomena. And they emerge as a result of a whole complex system of factors that come together. So it takes a lot of different things to build hotspots. But you can make those in your organization. And by doing so, you can increase the probability of you being in a hotspot from 20% of the, your time to 50% of your time. And, and how many of us wouldn't want to do that? How many of us wouldn't want to be in a place where we feel energized?